I have a great time with my life and I want to share it. I love living. I think that's infectious. It's something that you can't fake. Greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. It's that simple. I know who I am, and I know what I believe. I know who I am, I know who, what and I believe. that's all I need to know. And that's all I, I need to know. know. So from there, you do what you need to do. Yeah. You know? And I think what happens is we make the situation more complex than it has to because be. Because we're looking for complexity. There's got to be Absolutely. something complex to understand. It right? can't be that easy. No. We didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were it, becoming, it, we were becoming right. something greater. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day, mm -hmm. you'll never be able to communicate with, with people, with your artistry, the, the way that you want. So the only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is... I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. But if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first yeah. or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. One summer, his dad tore down a brick wall on the front of his business and told 12-year-old Will and his 9-year-old brother to rebuild it, a job they said was impossible. It took them a year and a half, but they did it. And he said, now don't you ever tell me it's something that you can't do. You don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say... I'm going to lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. soon you have a wall. You know, it's uh, an idea that my grandmother uh, always had that, it, you know, if you're going to be here, then there's a necessity to make a difference. She always instilled the responsibility, the spiritual responsibility that you have to make every group you come in contact with better. I want to do good. Yeah. I want the world to be better because I was here. I want my life, I want my, my work, uh, my, my family, I want it to mean something. And it's like, it has, if, if you are not making someone else's life better, then you're wasting your time. You know, like the, the, your life will become better by making other lives better. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. I want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want. One of my favorite books is The, the Alchemist, mm -hmm. uh, Paolo Coelho. And that's just... I.
the first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened for the last 50 yeah, million yeah, years right. of history, you have to believe that something different can happen. Yeah. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? Just put up a barrier. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's done. It's already done. The second I decide it's done, it's already done. It's right. Now we just got to wait for y'all to see. It's unrealistic to walk in a room and flip a switch and lights come on. That's unrealistic. Fortunately, Edison didn't think so. It's unrealistic to think you're going to bend a piece of metal and fly people over an ocean in that metal. That's unrealistic. But fortunately, the Wright brothers and others didn't, didn't believe that. And it just seems, it, it just seems like such a ridiculous idea to me to embrace the idea that it's not going to happen, and that's not real, for that to happen. As soon as you say it, now you just made that real. Our thoughts, our feelings, our dreams, our ideas are physical in the universe. That if we dream something, if we picture something, if we commit ourselves to it, that that is a physical thrust towards realization that we can put into the universe. That the universe is not a thing that's going to push us around. That the world and, and people and situations are not something that's going to push us around. That we are going to bend the universe and command and demand that the universe become what we want it to be. I study the patterns of the power that making a choice has, you know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go oh, around yeah. stuff. You know. You know. There's a there's a flow of the universe that I've I've grown to know just how to go with it. I, I realize that when to to have the level of success that I, I want to have, it's difficult to spread it out and do multiple things. It takes such a desperate, obsessive focus. You really got to focus with all of your fiber and all of your heart and all of your creativity. I'm motivated by fear. Fear. You know? Um, fear of what? Fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. And I think what developed uh, in, my, in my early days was the the attitude that I started attacking things that I was scared of. It was Franklin Roosevelt said the only fear you have to fear is fear itself. Absolutely. Remember that? Absolutely. Yeah. You can't be scared to die for the truth. The truth is the only thing that's ever going to be constant.